Welcome to SourceCAD and in this tutorial I am going to look at some of the important status toggles and these are the status toggles on the lower left corner of your screen. Some of you might be finding it differently. So if you have got this something like this instead of icons if you find letters then I suggest you to right click on any of the icon and click on use icons. So in this way you can switch between icons and letters. So whichever way you prefer, apply it. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to tell you about snap mode, grid, ortho, polar, object snap, and object tracking. So these are the modes which we are going to learn in this tutorial. So I'll start with the grid mode. Now here in this screen, you can find a background grid. So you can turn this grid by clicking on this grid icon. So click on this grid display and it will turn off. You can also turn on or off using the F7 key. This grid is an imaginary graph made into your AutoCAD window. By default, this grid has got 5 blocks horizontally and 5 blocks vertically. You can change this setting by right clicking and going to setting. Once you go to setting, you will find here major line every 5. So change to 6, OK and then you will find that the grids are now replaced with six blocks horizontally and six blocks vertically. You can also change the spacing of this grid. Right now, each block of the grid has a length of 0.5 unit and a width of 0.5 unit. Right click on the grid, go to settings and now you can change this to one and each block will have a spacing of one unit now. So now each block is having a length of one unit and a width of one unit. I'll go back and change it to default value that is 0. 0.5. Five. Let's look at the snap mode, but before going to snap mode, I'll make an object, preferably a triangle. Now, if you make a triangle using the normal mode, you'll just be able to make it comfortably without any problem. But once you click on the snapping mode and now go to line, then you'll feel a strange behavior with the cursor. The cursor only snaps at the corner point of this grid. So once you click on the snap mode, you'll find that the cursor only snaps at the, at the corner points of grid and that is what a snap mode is for. So once you click on snap mode, you'll be able to snap only at certain points on your screen, on your drawing area. Now you can, you can control where the snap point goes. Right now the snap point is snapping at an interval of 0.5 that is at the every corner point, at the every crossing point of this grid. Since the grid is spaced at 0.5 vertically and 0.5 horizontally and snapping is also set to 0.5 and 0.5 so it's snapping exactly at the intersection point if you change this value it will snap at that distance so for example i have changed this value to one unit now line will snap at the distance of one horizontally and one vertically at the every distance of one unit so now let's go to this and then you can see that it's skipping two grids at the same time so it's snapping but at the interval of two grids okay so now I'll just go to settings and change it to the default value of 0.5 to make things more clear for you. Now I've changed it. Okay. So let us turn this snap mode off and the grid mode off as well. And I'll just erase this thing. So now let's move on to other status toggle tools. So the next one is ortho mode. So let's select line tool and make a line, a normal line. So right now we can make a line along any direction. Now turn on the ortho mode and try to make a line again. Now you can see that you can only make a line along horizontal or vertical direction. You cannot make an angular line using ortho mode. Although you can use ortho mode to draw these type of line, but still you can snap. Once you can, once you snap at any point, you can make a tilted line but only if you can snap to a certain point otherwise you will only be able to make horizontal or vertical line using the ortho mode okay we're done with this now let's turn the polar tracking on as soon as soon as you uh, turn polar tracking on ortho mode will be turned off automatically and the vice versa is also true now you can make a line along any direction but if you'll make a line along horizontal or vertical you'll find this green tracking vector now this green tracking vector tracks along every 90 degree interval so here it is at the angle of 270 degree 0 degrees 90 degree and 180 degree okay 
so this is because we have turned 90 degree on on polar tracking now right click on polar tracking and here you can see that it has been turned on at 90 degrees now let's change it to 30 degrees and then you'll see that this polar tracking will appear at the interval of every 30 degrees so that is 30 60 90 120 150 and then 180 and similarly it goes on at the interval of every 30 degrees now you can enable this polar tracking at certain angles which are specified here but you can also specify your custom angle for example here is a custom angle which i have specified that is 26 degrees so now let's specify a custom angle for that go to settings now here is a custom angle which has already been defined so let's delete it now i will specify a custom angle so i have clicked on this additional angle and click on new now i want to snap it at the angle of 17 degrees at the angle of 17 degree so click on 17 and then ok so go to line make a line now once you just turn this line it will track the angle of 17 degrees so using this you can make lines at a certain tracking angle now let's move on to the next status toggle that is object snapping so object snapping is basically one of the very very important tools in AutoCAD you cannot work without using object snap in AutoCAD it is indispensable AutoCAD tool now suppose you want to make a rectangle using line command now let's go ahead and make a rectangle using a line command and I'll turn this object snapping off so here we are I made this rectangle up to this point now I just want to join this point to this okay I don't care about the angle let's make it a quadrilateral and I just want to join it with this so I have joined it like this I tried my best to join it but now let's zoom it once you zoom you'll find that it is not join to this point the desirable point and it won't join as long as object snap mode is turned off so you need to turn on object snapping once you click on object snapping and then let's make it and you'll be able to snap it so now you'll go to this point and then you'll see a box with the endpoint marker and it will automatically attract towards that point and it will exactly snap at that point so object snap is basically used to snap lines or other object geometries autocad geometries to certain points certain grip points or certain anchor points now here we have certain anchor anchor points on this line we have three anchor points the end points and the midpoint now let's select line and let's move it to the point here here you'll see that it snaps to the end point here also it snaps and once you go to the mid of this it will snap to the midpoint on a circle you'll find that it snaps to the center also it has got four quadrants the, these four quadrants and it snaps to those quadrants as well similarly in case of rectangle or a polygon or a polyline it snaps to all the anchor points and you can draw lines from lines or other geometries from those snapping points now, but still you can turn these snapping points on and off now for example in this circle I don't want to snap to the quadrants once I move close to the quadrant I find that there is a quadrant now I don't want to snap to quadrant so right click on this and here you will find this quadrant option just click on this quadrant and now let's move on to this you won't find any quadrant here if you turn off the center it won't snap to the center so right click and turn off the center now go to the center and there is no center you cannot snap so right click and turn the center on and now you can snap to the center okay so now let's look at some of the points which you find on this object snapping endpoint you know endpoint is the endpoint of any line or polyline or arc so here we have two endpoints now midpoint you know center you know and the quadrant means the four corners of a circle now after that node node denotes these points so now we have made these three points now if you move your cursor close to these points you'll see that it doesn't snaps to these points although we have made it now right click on this and turn node on 
and then now if you move close to this it will snap to these points and this is what a node is now intersection is the point which is formed by the intersection of two objects be it a line circle arc or anything any autocad geometry now let's go to line and move your cursor close to this and here you will find the intersection because these two entities intersect here also you will find the same criteria here here also it's intersecting so you will find this intersection point but if you'll turn intersection off you won't be able to find it here so here it's indicating this midpoint and here you won't find any points now the next is extension and as you can see that extension is turned on so let's turn it off now let's make an aligned line now if i want to make a line that exactly follows this line i cannot make it without extension now i'll click on this and i'll try to track this no it won't track it won't go exactly as for the geometry of this original line now let's turn on extension and now let's try to make this so now click on this point and now once you just and now you can see that here we find an extension and now it's tracking exactly along the geometry of this line and it's following the same curvature which this original line is so once you turn the extension on you can follow the curvature of your original line or even an arc so here we have an arc and now if i just want to extend this arc now click on this grip and now here you can see that i can extend it exactly along the curvature because extension is turned on else i won't be able to do this okay and now all the rest points are quite self explanatory and i encourage you to experiment with these and if you find difficulty with any of these points let me know in the comment box and i'll clarify your doubts now let's look at the last status toggle for this tutorial and that is object snap tracking so for object snap tracking i am not going to erase all of these things but okay i'll erase these nodes now if i just want to make a rectangle my previous example okay now here and i just want to make this line exactly equal to the length of this line i need to know the length obviously in that case but if i don't know the length then there is nothing that i can do except for tracking this point so now let's go to this point but don't click it and then track this point and you'll find a green tracking vector that appears now as soon as you'll come to this point you'll see that the horizontal tracking vector also appears and now you'll be able to complete your rectangle quite easily but now let's turn this object snap tracking off and try to repeat this rectangle go to line tool make a rectangle and now let's go to this point but don't click it and try to track it okay i'm trying to track it but there is no green tracking vector no it won't appear because we have turned this thing off here now click on this object snap tracking and now go to this point but don't click it and now track it and there it is we have the green tracking vector and now you can make it easily so this is what an object snap tracking is and it has got the same points which you have seen in the object snap and if you'll turn any point off here it will turn off here as well so these are all the similar points now i'll show you a very good example here if you want to make a circle at exactly center of this rectangle you can use object snap tracking for this so now i'll select the circle and i'll go to the center of this line but i won't click on this now track this point and go down now go to the left or to the right and don't click on these points and track it towards left as soon as you'll come to this point you'll see two tracking vectors horizontal and vertical now click and now here it is we have the circle exactly at the center of this rectangle it is exactly snapping at the center and you are not supposed to make any reference lines or anything else to make this so this is how you're going to use object snap tracking so this was all in the status toggle and in the next tutorial i'll discuss all the remaining status toggles most of the status toggles at least so see you in the next tutorial and if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment box and please do like and subscribe if you find my tutorials useful and as always thanks for watching